Today we are putting Kai Sinat in the modern NBA and we're going to be simulating through his entire NBA career. So, by the way, it's a quick sign off. If you guys are wondering how I got Kai Sinat in NBA 2K25, make sure to check the video on my normal channel or on my second channel. I'll, you know, link it in the comments down below. And then, like I said, we got Kai Sinat at NBA 2K25. Also, was a lot of other guys I specifically chose him because... So like he'd be the most popular right now. But yeah, we got everything set up for him. We got the 5'4". We got, you know, obviously 22 years old. We got the birthday. We got everything in here. And then like I said, we're going to be simulating his entire career. He starts off as 22 years old. He is now a free agent. I couldn't put him in the draft, so he is a free agent. And then we're going to have to see where he gets picked up. We're going to sim a couple days and see where Kai Sinat does get picked up. It'll be really interesting to see. All right, he got picked up. This is a couple of days, and he already signed with an NBA team. So let's see what team Kai Sinat has signed to. It's going to shooting guards go down a bit. And Kai Sinat has signed with the OKC Thunder. Already signing with their really stacked NBA team, obviously the Oklahoma City Thunder. I wonder if he'll start with them. They already have a lot of guards, so I don't really like the fit too much. But he just dropped 23. Okay. Oh, interesting. Kai is coming off the bench here as well. It's looking like this. Let me update the rotation. He's coming off. He's the sixth man, which is a bad. We got Kai. I mean, he looks so short compared to other guys. But, yeah, he'll be the sixth man. Let's see how Kai's first season goes. Luka Doncic is your MVP. Also, it'll be interesting to see if Kai Snow won Rookie of the Year. He did. Also, I didn't realize. I didn't mention that. But Pop put his potential up to 99 so he could become the best player. So we're going to see a 5-4 guy be a 99 overall, most likely, or at least somewhat to that. And he's already showing flashes off the bench, averaging 21 at night. And I'm guessing that means six men of the year. Wait, did he not want six men of the year? What am I looking at? Wait. Six man the what time you can't tell me no, there's no way no no bro. Guys not as better, I'm sorry, but whatever, I'm a Thompson winning. Um obviously um you know, six man one obviously should have went to you know who but um it didn't show the all rookie team, whatever two K man. The game is just so bro. Anyway, we were the third scene as we got the Los Angeles Clippers in round one. So I is still coming off the bench. They still want to start, which isn't, which isn't bad. I like his scoring off the bench for a team. It can really provide. But eventually, he will be that starter. We'll stop the wait. As we will sweep the Clippers around. Want to play Minnesota with Ant, obviously. So, we can see how this goes. As against the Timberwolves, we are going to beat them. And said so we're in the conference finals now to play the Denver Nuggets with Westbrook, Jamal, and P.J. Gordon, and Nikola Jokic. So... Alright, so against the Denver Knights, if I can freaking click the series, man, stop loading. Hold on, bro. And obviously, we're going to have a pick in the draft with the Thunder. We're projected 1 and 10 as we are going to get number... Wait, where did that pick go to? I should, I should have no clue. But as you can see, since we have 10, I really don't see Thunder anywhere else. So the Jazz actually get to keep that pick, which is a, you know obviously sucks. But at least we got the 10th overall pick, right? Yeah, uh, 10. That Clippers pick. Okay, so Clippers are actually good. So we're only going to have pick 20, which honestly sucks. But we do have the 10th overall pick from the Sixers. Somehow we do. But let's see who we snack. It's 23-5 draft. That's actually pretty loaded at this point, which is really nice. Oh, actually, I shouldn't even be really concerned about this. Kai is afraid. What am I talking about, man? We're not We're not rebuilding. Okay, so let's see if Kai now wants to return or where is he going to go. Yeah, he has for $40 million, bro. I mean. Come on, man. Drive it already have enough money, but come on, man. All right, Kai. Should I have an offer now, at least? So, no, no offers. All right, we're on day 12, and he still doesn't really have a sign with the team. Yeah, it looks like he has interest in going to the Denver Nuggets, the team we just beat, which is honestly kind of crazy. He would kind of fit shooting guard spot, but let's see where he ends up going. Uh, they can decide to play in progression. He'll probably be progressing like a ton. So let's see. Um, Kai Sinat, he is going to the – what is his name? Did he really progress that much up, man, or is he still a free agent? Did he, does 99 potential really progress up to a 90 automatically? Okay, so he's an 88 overall, so not as much. But he was going to the Brooklyn Nets on a mass contract. That's the contract he got. So he'll be with the Nets for at least a couple years. And the Nets are rebuilding team. So we can see if Kai Sinat going to take this team good to contention. They have quickly here. They have Noah. They have Colin. I mean, their team is, you know, like I said, a rebuilding team.
second of the season, Kai Sinat is the fourth seed on the Brooklyn Nets, which is really nice. The other team is going to be trash, but now nah, with the Nadi, with 89 overall, Kai Sinat and team, you're going to be good. This team is so bad, man, but we're probably going to lose to the Knicks around one. Honestly, it was a good start. Can't really be mad. We actually forced him to sound, which is a great start. Wondering how much Kai averaged this year. He did average. He's probably going to be older. Um, rev relatively, you know, you know, shorter or longer. As they say, he's not going to have a long career because he came into the league, obviously, at 23-24. He averaged 25 and night. Somehow, we grabbed five rebounds, Um, and then he shot 40% from three. So, obviously, the nine out potential is going to start kicking in really, really soon. Uh, maybe as fast as this year, we'll have to see what pieces the Nets add to get, you know, a better team around Kai Sinat. So player progression, we got Kai up to a 92 overall. Um, we have Cameron Thomas, Nick Clax, we have Noah going up to an 80. We should help out Dreek Whitehead and Jalen Tyson we got, which is cool. We traded for him, Dreek Whitehead, Schroeder, um, Max Schuster so that we got him. And honestly, the team is progressing really nicely than I thought it would. That's a really good sign. Obviously, let's see how the season goes. P again. We actually finished off, you know, kind of, you know, as the one seed, obviously, but we got Charlotte in round one. Um, this team is getting so much better, man. Eventually, Kyle will get a second championship. Um, and he averaged 27 a night with the Brooklyn Nets with 45% from three. He grabbed. F I don't understand, bro. I need to have a hopping game with this guy. I gotta see a 5 4 guy going crazy. I just gotta see it, man. I guess the Hornets looks like um, we're gonna probably beat them pretty easily, so. Yeah, I would love to get a hopping game here, man. I'm going to take game one. I'm going to take game two. And I'm going to take game three. So we're up three to one now. As, okay, that should actually make it interesting. Let's go. We get a hopping game. I mean, hopefully. If it's close, we're hopping in, no doubt about it. Man, I'm trying to get some guys in that gameplay. I think that will be great for the channel anyway. So here we go. Oh, second line is going to be close. Come on. Just come on. All right. We're hopping right here. We're getting into some guys in that gameplay. Let's go. Here we go. Is he on the court? Okay, he's on the court. Dude, look how short he looks to Grady Dick. Bro, it's crazy. But let's see how this goes. Scotty Barnes with the ball. Scotty Barnes uh, is going to get yarded up by K. I can't get my off Kai. But Scotty Barnes, post fadeaway shot. It's no good. Rebound, Yakum Pirtle. Over to Triple J. Over to Grady with the ball. Grady will get the screen by Pirtle. Grady, midi shot is no good. Rebound goes to Noah Asin. You, Sangui, whatever. Noah inside. Noah to the rim, and Noah gets the layup to go, man. The Nets are up 3 2 on this year. It's now a five point game. Scotty Barnes dribbling up the ball. Scotty Barnes with the ball. Scotty Barnes cross over. Scotty Barnes inside with it. Barnes will drive. Barnes will kick it out to Dick. Dick three. Grady Dick three is no good. Goes rebound to Noah. Noah has the ball. Noah gives it to Kai. Here we go, man. Kai's going to jab a few times. Kai, man, somebody give this man a screen. I need to see him score. That would be uh, any pass. What the freak was that, man? Who got the offensive second violation? We're going to put in uh, Jalen Tyson. I'm guessing that small forwards. Here we go. Um, Drake Powell, I'm guessing that is going to give it to Bones Highland. Bones Highland, was it the, the starting point? All right, it's the Barnes. Barnes inside. No one gets the block, but it ends up being a foul. That is Noah's fifth foul of the night. He's starting power forward. We definitely need him. Um, Scotty Barnes first free though is good. If he makes the second, it'll be a three point game. As he does make the second, um, that's now a three point game. The Nets need to score here if they do want to go ahead and obviously you know get the dub. Kai with the ball. Kai Sinet would drive inside. Kai over Jared Jackson, bro. You know he was not making that one. Drake Powell with the ball. Drake on Kai. Drake Powell. Um, he'll give it to Bones Highland. Bones Highland. Shot is good, bro. Bones. What a shot by Bones. All right. Jalen Tyson's going to inbound it. He's going to give it to Quickly. Manual Quickly with the ball. Manual Quickly. He's going to give it to Kai Sinat. Kai Sinat with the ball. Kai will drive inside. Kai gets the he gets fouled. Okay, it's a foul. Um, foul by um, you know, Drake Powell. All right, Kai first free throw. She with one hand. If that's that I'm looking at it, cause I don't know what that free throw is, man. I guess he the hit you in kind of one hand. I don't know, bro. I I was the one who made this guy, but all right, here we go. Now a three point game again. The Raptors, if they hit a three, I believe it'll be a tie game. Um, I, I know math. Trust me. But RJ Bear is gonna give it to man, Bones Highland. Bones Highland with the ball. Honestly, quickly, his former team got traded. All right. Barnes backing down Noah. Noah, um, Scotty Barnes is going to miss it. Wow. 
and quickly will shoot the last two free throws. Looking like this game might be over, but we'll see if quickly hit the two free throws. Quickly's first free throw is a hit. Um, quickly second free throw is also good. Hey, he absolutely nails both. 15 seconds left. The Raptors need to score really fast. They want to have a chance of coming back. Scotty Barnes over Noah. Barnes three is actually good. Wow. Okay. That's that's actually. If if Kai misses this, then honestly, we might be good. It might honestly be a tie game before we know it. But let's see if Kai Snack can hit both of these free throws. Kai Snack's first free throw is good. He hit um two last time. Kai Snack's second free throw is good. Kai cannot miss, bro. But here we go. Darren Jackson is going to give it to Bones Highland. Bones Highland dribbling. Bones Highland Barnes. Wing three is no good. And Jay Thoughts with the rebound. That'll end it off. Just like that, the Nets are advancing. The Heat in the third round, they have Javon Carter starting. That's you know right there that we should win this game, this series. But why did I speak? Like, seriously, I did not have to speak. Maybe that's what he's probably love. Man, Javon Carter is actually decent. Um, Hero at having 25. I just don't think this team should be in the, you know, call me hater all you want. But the, are you, are you sitting here and tell me is this team should be in the final? This, this team should not be in the finals, man. I just don't get it. As they get, thank you, Mavericks. I was going to freaking say, man. But, all right. So, Kai's eliminated again for the second straight year. No need to panic, obviously. This team is going to get keep getting better, obviously. Kai's going to keep getting better. This is probably the worst we're going to see Kai, which is insane to see. But, we'll head straight into player progression here. As Kai is up to a 95 overall. We got Noah up to an 86. So, Noah's going to be a huge part of Obviously, Cameron Thomas is progressing for whatever. Quickly is up. Um, Derek Whitehead is up. We got Jaren Stevenson and Jalen Tyson. It looks like we also got Alex Costanza in the draft, which is really nice. We got Dylan Mingo as well. So we had five. Tell me we had five and three in the draft. We drafted two really good studs. Man, you love to see who else was probably could we took it instead. So yeah, there Costanza was the right pick, and then we took Mingo. We could have took this guy, Hugo. But I feel like he was still the right pick. Let's freaking go, man. All right, at the end of the season, Kai Sinat and the Brooklyners, the one seed, got Detroit in round one with Cade, Edgecombe, Asar, Portis, Kessler, Ron Holland, Sasser, Nikhil, Monte Miles, Malcolm, and then here we go. Now we got Detroit. That's the Detroit Pistons. We are going to beat them at five to play the Charlotte Hornets. With all right, so that's a Kai Sinat is a 96 average, about 25 points per game, which is amazing. Now we got the Hornets already looked at their team as we ended up losing in six games, which obviously not something you would love to see. But let's simulate the playoffs. Uh, all right, so here we go, man. Right into the draft lottery now. Oh, this doesn't really matter too much. You can just see, obviously, this. All right, so Kai staying at a 95. This was looking like here. We got Noah up to an 89. Kimmy Thomas is up. G.J. Jackson. Oscar's Tonza. Jaren Stevenson. All these guys are developing, which is obviously really nice. Kai Sinat, the Detroit Pistons, are the number four seed. Kai Sinat also got a contract extension from the new um, York Nets, which is cool. So, yep, he got a, or the Brooklyn Nets, I should say now, obviously, making $63 million in 2032. He'll be a free agent at the age of 32 in 2033. So, obviously, have a long ways to have, but against the Detroit Pistons, we're going to be from the foul to play the Toronto Raptors with um, Elson Arrington, Drake Pouch, Kobe Walter, Scotty Barnes, and Mark Williams, as we are going to lose to that team in six games. Hi, is once again disappointed. This next team isn't bad, it's just a matter of time before we hopefully get the job done. I hope they don't consider trading Kai Snap. I mean, obviously, I guess going into a better team wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but I obviously can't stop him. I'm signing an extension, and I think this is the right pace to be ready to be a star player here in Brooklyn. You also have some, you know, co players as well. Take a look at Noah, already 91. Alice goes Tonza, just his second year, or I guess it's just their years, 87. Darren Stevenson, G. Jackson, Dylan Mingo. Like, their pieces are really good, just a matter of time, man. Wimbin Yama wins the MVP. We finished off making the number fourth seed again. Kai Sinat averages solid 23 points per game, shooting 40% from three. He's 28 years old. Let's see how this goes. The Chicago Bulls have an 89 overall. Stephon Castle, Tilly, Jaron Jackson. Right, let's see how this goes. Um, We are going to go ahead and lose a five. So, things have just not been great lately for the Brooklyn Nets with Kai. Man, Jaws going off it with the Grizzlies averaging 30 in the finals or in the playoffs. Shout out to him. 
So yeah, it's not, it's not really looking that good for Kai. Well, he's not going to be afraid for a while. I think he has like three more years left on his contract. So like it or not, we're stuck here for at least almost the rest of his career. Um, I mean, 32, he can still put up pretty good numbers, 33, 32. He is progressing up. It's really nice to see. Um, let's see. He is a free agent. All right, yeah, so we got three more years left to Kai Snat and the Nets. Even if he signs another extension, he likes it here in Brooklyn, which is interesting. I think, you know, I think he was born in New York, actually. That's probably why. Now I think about it. Hold on, let me see something. Yeah, yeah, he was early born in Brooklyn. I just noticed, but he was early born in Brooklyn. So I can see why he wants to stay here. That's actually crazy. I didn't even know. Another year. Oh, we ended up being the one seed this year. So we were one of the best teams in the East this year, 16 and 22. See, so yeah, our team is getting a lot of better. Look at this team, man. Kai Sinap averaged 23 points per game. Another really solid seed. He's 29 now. Uh, Charlotte in round one, LaMelo, Brandon Miller, and Cooper Flag is absolutely freaking insane. Somehow we still beat them at five to play Orlando. The Magic have Anthony Black, Ace Bailey, Franz Widener, and Cameron Boozer. We ended up being that team of Celtics. Can we make the finals now? Oh, man, the Celtics have, have an insane team, bro. Are you kidding me? Like, is this team really a lot? They have Brunson. They traded for Brunson. Got Ian Jackson, Jalen Brown, Tatum. Hartenstein, they have freaking Ahmed Thompson, Keyson Wallace, MPJ. Wait, what? Okay, this this game sometimes makes no sense, but now we have the Sacramento Kings. Um, with honestly, they don't have really a number one star. I mean, I guess Jalen Harrison, if he's that, is ninety one overall. But I don't really see anybody that is clearly average like a bunch of points. Jordan Wallace isn't doing anything at all. Um, Carter Bryant, I don't really see it as gonna take game one. They're going to take game two. We're going to go up two to one. We're going to go up three to one. It's like that. Kai Snat is now a two-time champion with his hometown, the Brooklyn Nets. Man, that couldn't have been a better story. Him signing a max extension with the Brooklyn Nets, man. I just 2K, no. Like, there's no way, man. Betting in the player progression. Kai Snat has probably peaked at a 96. Alex Costanza, his teammate is up. His star teammate is up to a 92 overall. Um, it was gonna keep progressing, man. It's amazing to see Gay Hour head coach and uh no, I'm not the GM. I'm not necessarily watching, but Jody Fernandez wins. Um, obviously coach the year of the sixty on sixty seven games. So really love, really love that to see. Really love to see that Kai averaged another twenty three points per game. Obviously he didn't turn into nothing crazy, but you can't lie. Seeing a five four person average twenty three points per game does not amaze you. Like that hopping game that didn't amaze you, man. But we are gonna beat the Bulls in round one. Um, now we have the Washington Wizards, um, Pajemski, Duran, Asar, whatever. We are going to go ahead and beat that team of six to play Miami with Trey Young, Dash Daniels, Reek White, Jabari, and Sid Gee. Yes, this Heat team, we're going to beat them in four to sweep them to play the Los Angeles Clippers with Nick Smith, Carter Knox, Turnstokes, Donnie Freeman, um, Howie Barrett, whatever. So against the Clippers, we end up beating them in seven. Just like that, we're... Another NBA champion, which is great. So Kai is now a three-time NBA champion. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Is he up there for the greatest of all time? Probably three championships. Obviously not. But let me say, man, if he can pass LeBron by getting five, he's already starting to progress, which is not a good sign for Kai. Can't lie. But he's on a one-year deal. He'll probably still get extended, which I'm not mad. This team is absolutely freaking insane. All right, so this year ended up being the one seed again as Kai averaged 22 points. I say he's been start, starting to progress like a lot in this first couple of years in the league. It was good, and he you know, kind of fell off a bit. But it's okay. He's still 95 overall. His point guard position is kind of, you know, kind of terrible. But all right, we're still the one seed. I'm going to beat the Heat in round one. The Hornets probably had the same team. going to beat them at seven. Now we got the Magic as we ended up. Losing seven, okay. Lose to Cameron Boozer and Paolo Bell's team is actually really good. They got Jokic, so they go on and win it all. They shout out to that Magic team. That was actually a really good team. But Kai, did he sign an extension? He did. Hi, Sinat is extended until the age of 35. So after this contract, so during this contract, we should see a bunch of progression from Kai Sinat, seeing him turn into a role player. Not something I obviously want to see. I want him to be a little bit better than this. Maybe average 30 points per game, but it's fine, obviously, as he is progressing down to a 92. With a one seed this year, we got Indiana around one with Tyrese Halliburton. All right, Pokusevsky starting in big 2020 freaking what? What are we, what are we talking about? Pokusevsky starting in... Freaking 2034, are we serious, man? No, I can't even lie. 
Poku being relevant at this time is insane. But if we're going to beat the Pacers and we lose to a Angs Langzerns, Poku, or how do you say that first name? Poku Sevsky, starting center team. We just lost to him. Is it time? Like, is it actually time to, if we lose, if we lose to this team, is it actually time to force Kai out of Brooklyn? No, because that would be a bad look for us because we're literally forcing him in his hometown. Like he probably wants to stay here for the rest of his career, which isn't a bad idea by any means. Obviously, you know this is his hometown. He was born in Brooklyn, obviously, so I don't mind him staying for the rest of his career. We still need to contend. We did just won three championships. So I can't hold my time. We can't. I just won three championships. Let me chill out. But um, Kai Snad is down to an 89 overall. He's still making big, big money. So shout out to him. I wonder if he's still streaming at this time. So last said, the Nets and Kai Snad were still relatively good. Kai, last said, 90 overall. Only average 18 and a half a night, which still isn't bad for a 33-year-old. He will start to progress even more. As we're going to beat the Wizards in round one, we got Detroit in round two, we got Atlanta. We're going to make the finals, bro. We got Vigra Minyama at this point. He's at 99 overall, so I don't know how easy this will be. This team is already insane. But we do want to be in them at six. And now, um, I said that is now a four-time champion. As Jared Allen is retiring, he didn't even play for us. But, you know, since that means, you know, since he gets his fourth championship, he's now tied for LeBron James in rings. Um, so one more, he can obviously pass him and he can tie the great legend Kobe Bryant. So, I mean, he's down to an 86 pounds, but he doesn't have to do much, man. If he can just be that guy in the group, group project, that doesn't really do anything. But obviously, he's averaging 18 and a half points per game. I would love for him to get at least another championship. I think this goes down as the greatest, um, undrafted player of all time. Cameron Boots were in the MVP. I think that means, okay, so we're the two seed this year. Um, all right, so the magic of the six seed. All right, so uh, I said we added Nikola Topic, which is actually really nice at this point. Probably a little older at this point. He is 30, but we did sign him, which is cool. And then Kai Sinat, like I would watch this video for, average about 14 points, 39% from three. Literally what I think Derek White is averaging right now, man. So you would absolutely love to see that as, you know, the Please look to maybe get, you know, five championships. We're going to win. Wait, let me see. He actually, he actually has five, right? Oh, he was not. Okay, he has four championships. My bad. That's said five. But is Alex Costana signed the extension? Um, He does. All right, so we're good. And then, yeah. All right, so can we be Orlando around to the MVP? Freak, no, lose the MVP. All right. I think Kai's on a one-year deal now. Let me just make sure. Um, Kai Snat is on a one-year deal. There's a bunch of one um small contracts in this team. So will they be able to afford Jaren Stevenson and Anaheim? Now we'll just have to see if obviously he's going to leave his hometown team. Really, I doubt it. Probably they can be able to afford it, but every role is on. So really, any hard cap situation could happen when Kaisen is forced to leave the Brooklyn Nets. But Kaisen has down to an 80 overall. We're going to send him to the end of the season to see if he needs the and see if he's going to get that extension for a year or two. Brooklyn Nets did end up being the number two seed. And Kai Sinat did. Okay, so um, looks like, okay, so Janice Stevenson got a bag. So I really doubt Kai. Yeah, he didn't. I was about to say, because if Janice Stevenson got freaking 324 mil, dude, are you seriously giving up to 72 million? Dude, he got, bro, the Janice Stevenson freaking fleeced. It. This is freaking Noah Clowney. Now I think about it. Now I actually take a look at him. But yeah, so Kai Sinat is most likely going to. I mean, we'll see. I mean, he does. Obviously, I would love for him to come back and finish his, you know, career with his hometown team, the team being the Brooklyn Nets. But obviously, we have some more important things in our hands. That team, that thing being the playoffs. So we're gonna beat the Raptors, Orlando with Boozer. We're gonna beat them. Now we got the one seed at Pistons. We're gonna get swept. All right, man. Yeah. So he's got a bunch of auto-generated guys at this point. As yeah, I mean, who we'll even get people? But Kai will finally be a free agent. As Halliburton is going to retire at this point. He's young right now. This is how far we've been into this. All right. So let's see. Maybe he got an extension in the offseason. That does happen. As uh, No, he didn't. Looks like he is going to be a free agent. So I send that. Let's see where he's going to go. He has no offers at the moment. I send that. Still has no offers. I send that. Still has no offers. The moratorium is over. And Kai still has no offers. And the Nets renounce him. That little key kind of wrong. Kai was not that bad, man. Um, let's see. Let's see if Kai's even going to go anywhere. The Nets can still sign him. Says it on my screen. So they can still do it. The Brooklyn Nets. I'm looking at Kai Snet's really going to test, you know, not sign off the team, man. That would be absolutely crazy. But 
was obviously going to do 12. He's at 85 overall, and he is 35, but come on, man. One team has to, has to have some interest in least offering him a freaking minimum contract. Man, he's not this bad. Looks like, is he really going to go? Is he really going to be unemployed, man? You know, I'll have to see. Where did Kai Snap sign? Because I know he had to sign somewhere, right? There's no way. All right. No, he's an unemployed. Wow, interesting. Alright, it's in a couple of days, and he is still afraid. Is he really going to end off his career as afraid? And I hope that's not the situation, man. He's down to an 80 overall. That will be absolutely terrible. I'll send him to the end of the season. Last one to see. This guy, I forgot low-key, but let's see. If guys, he's not on the Nets anymore, so let's see. He's an 80 overall Shingar. Look at the league, bro. Like, look how many good players there are. Hopefully, it doesn't become that. It's that old man. He's 36. He doesn't have a team. Wow, that's not low key. It's not a good sign at all, man. Not good at all. The Nets are actually gonna go to the finals without Kai Stig. If they win, I promise, bro. All the Alec Potter freaking Sam. The Nets made it without Kai. They got Hugh Gogan. Dude, they got a freaking ninety five overall, man. Who they trade? They must have traded. I don't know, but guys, Kai's not gonna retire. Um, I actually okay, Kai's not gonna call it quick. Yeah. Say. His career is probably over at this point. Just like that, Kai's out of the league. He's out of the league, didn't get picked up. I guess 13 points per game isn't enough for a team to pick you up. But, you know, it's whatever. This is 2K and the year of 2040. Like, ooh, what are we saying? It was a 2040, 38. But, yeah, that's the end of Kai's Nets career. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We can see if he probably didn't end up having any records or anything, but we can obviously still check. He did have four rings. We can include that in the thumbnail, but... Brian James sold all the time scoring. Luca ended up being five. KD managed to get four. Yeah, SGA up here. Giannis, Anthony Edwards pass. MJ is that settled the goat debate there? No, I, I'm I'm kidding, bro. But let's see. See if we can get. See if I see a Kai anywhere. I see now. Oh, guys, now was a 56 on the all time score. Like, take a look at this man. He's 56 on the all time scoring list, and he entered the league as a free agent at the age of what 22. But we have to start noticing. This is absolutely insane, bro. At, at cracking this is low key crazy. I think about this. He scored more more points than Joel Embiid and Darius Garland. Like come, I think combined, right? No, it can't be combined. No, not combined. But he scored more points than these guys in their entire career. He scored more points than Tony Parker in his life. This is, we have to start taking notes of this. He scored more points than Kawhi in his entire career. It's absolutely insane to me. But as enjoyed this one. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Peace.